Hi guys Mr. New Mobile here. The Apple Watch 6 release date and specs. Please subscribe followed by the bell. You can also keep up on Facebook, Twitter by clicking the links in the description. The Apple Watch 6 release date will likely be towards the end of 2020, alongside the iPhone 12, but that doesn't mean we're clueless towards the smartwatch leaks, rumors, and other sources of information are starting to paint a picture at the upcoming piece of tech. Apple has been gearing us up for the Watch 6 2, with the unveiling and beta launch of its new software Watch 07. Sure, this is set to come to older Apple Watches too, but it's clearly designed with a future smartwatch in mind, so it gives us some idea of what to expect in the new device. The Apple Watch 5 was a great smartwatch, but its successor is set to fix some of that gadget's issues and bring even more improved features and specs, perhaps with newer ways to use the tech, along with your iPhone or iPad. We've collected everything we've heard about the Apple Watch 6, take it with some pinches of salt, given pre-launch information for tech can and is frequently wrong, but it helps paint a picture of the new Apple device want most from the Apple Watch 6 in order to make it a substantial upgrade on the Apple Watch 5. That wearable was good, but it wasn't a huge upgrade on the Apple Watch 4, so we're hoping for more this time around. More specifically, based on the days and dates that Apple tends to release new models, we'll probably see the Apple Watch 6 on September 8th or 15th. The former date has in fact now been tipped by one established leaker. And more recently another leaker, John Prosser, has agreed, saying that the Apple Watch 6 will be announced via press release, meaning no proper event, on the week commencing September 7. That almost certainly means Tuesday, September 8, given Apple's past form, and that September 7 is a holiday in the US. That's not when you'll be able to buy it though expect to wait roughly 10 days from the announcement to the on-sale date. It's also unclear if the COVID-19 pandemic will have impacted Apple's schedule. There are various rumors about the iPhone 12 being delayed for this reason, and it may be a similar situation for the Apple Watch 6. That said, we haven't heard any rumors suggesting an Apple Watch 6 delay, so September as the upcoming wearable appears to have now been listed on an official database, as of late August, something that tends to happen quite close to launch. As for price, it's likely to cost at least as much as the Apple Watch 5, meaning a starting price of at least $399 £399 AU $649. We're already hearing a few rumors about the Apple Watch 6, including the possibility that it could switch to a new screen type. The Apple Watch 5 uses an OLED screen, but a report suggests the Apple Watch 6 might use microLED. The main advantage of microLED is that it should be more power efficient, which could mean the Apple Watch 6 would have better battery life. All of this said, there has also been a more recent report that suggests the Apple Watch 6 will feature the exact same screen as the Apple Watch 5. Another possible change to the screen is the addition of a Touch ID fingerprint scanner. Currently the Apple Watch range doesn't have any biometric security, but building a scanner into the screen would be a slick way to offer it. This theory is based on a patent, and you can see a related image above. The patent explains this antennas to the strap, so there's more room for other components under the screen. It's a change that as well as potentially creating space for a fingerprint scanner, could also theoretically leave room for a larger battery. It would however limit the ability for third-party companies to offer straps, and likely mean that strap replacements would be very expensive. Don't expect the Apple Watch 6 to look drastically different compared to previous versions of the smartwatch either. Trusted analyst John Prosser has said he believes the Apple Watch 6 will look similar to older devices. One new feature the Apple Watch 6 might get is the ability to track your temperature. This was spotted in an approved yoga tracking, which would better be able to judge your pose and energy expenditure, so that too could be included, but it works in part through temperature measurements, which could have wider health and fitness uses. We know now thanks to the Watch 07 beta that the Apple Watch 6, along with other Apple Watches, will finally offer native sleep tracking too. This comes as no surprise though, as it's been rumored for a while. The Apple Watch range already supports third-party sleep tracking apps, but surprisingly Apple still doesn't offer its own, so this has been a long time coming. Another massive leak meanwhile suggests better parental controls are coming, along with new tachymeter distance tracking markings, a feature on traditional analog wristwatches, ringing the Apple Watch face. Also revealed in the leak, the Apple Watch 6 could get the capability to monitor blood oxygen levels and warn wearers if those drop low enough to risk a cardiac arrest and, predictably, better ECG. A later prediction by Prosser elaborated on the use for the blood oxygen level tracking, combine it with heart rate monitoring, and the smartwatch could be able to tell when the wearer is hyperventilating. This could tip the watch off that the wearer is having a panic attack and could tell the wearer to stop or pull over if driving and coach them into breathing until the attack passes. 
blood oxygen tracking is a feature that we've heard rumored a number of times at this point, including through supply chain sources, so it's looking very likely. Another feature we might see is the ability for the Apple Watch to tell if you're in danger of drowning and contact the emergency services if so. This idea is based on an Apple patent which details a system where a device could detect if you're in say, open water or salt water, and then based on your calendar and location data work out precisely where you are and whether you likely intended to be in that water. Advertisement and as well as new features, the Apple Watch 6 might also sport improved water resistance and wireless connectivity, as well as faster general performance. None of that is terribly surprising, except perhaps water resistance, since the Apple Watch 5 is already water resistant to depths of 50 meters. This claim comes from Ming Kai Kuo, a respected Apple analyst, who says a switch to liquid crystal polymer LCP, materials in the circuit boards will allow for it. Elsewhere, we also have some ideas of the possible battery size, as Apple batteries of 260-303.8 mAh have been spotted passing through the South Korean regulatory process. The Apple Watch 5 had a 296 mAh battery, so these would be the right sort of size for a successor, with the three different sizes likely accounting for the different configurations and sizes of Apple Watch 6. A big departure for an upcoming Apple Watch meanwhile may be a switch to a digital crown, rather than the rotating option that sits on every Apple Watch model. There's no guarantee this will be included on the Apple Watch 6, but it may be something the company is experimenting with thanks to a patent that we've seen from the company. Of course, the Apple Watch 6 will also come with a new Vertically Watch 07, which has now been announced. From new workouts, to streamlined complications, sleep tracking, hand washing tracking, and more, there's a lot planned. Sleep tracking is perhaps the biggest update here and gives us a clear look that the Apple Watch 6 may come with specific features that will be better at handling that. The Apple Watch 5 actually has worse battery life than the Apple Watch 4, and while there's a good reason for that, the addition of an always-on screen, we'd still like to see some big improvements for the Apple Watch 6. At a minimum we want it to match the Apple Watch 4's life, but ideally we want it to be even better, comfortably offering two or more days of life between charges. That would also make it more viable for sleep tracking, a feature that Apple is rumored to be adding. The Apple Watch is a great health and exercise device already, but we were disappointed to find that no significant new fitness features were added for the Apple Watch 5, so we'd like to see some for the Apple Watch 6. What exactly they might be we'll leave up to Apple, but possibilities include the ability to more accurately track more exercises or additional sensors for monitor track progress and personal development. The always-on display was a great new feature for the Apple Watch 5, but one significant issue with it is that it's too bright to comfortably use at night in the dark. As such we want an option to have it go very dim without turning off completely. This would also likely imp Another issue with the always-on screen is that it's not properly supported by all apps, meaning that rather than a basic version of an open app being shown on the always-on display, it will in many cases switch to a basic digital clock, meaning you can't view the app without properly waking the screen up. We'd like to see this changed for the Apple Watch 6, so that every app is able to fully support the always-on screen. We've been asking for sleep tracking on the Apple Watch for years, and so far Apple hasn't listened. There are rumors that sleep tracking might be in the works, so this might be something we finally get. But on the other hand, with third-party apps offering it, Apple might decide not to bother. We found sensing things, such as songs and podcasts, to the Apple Watch 5 was a lot fiddlier than it really should be, as not only do you need it to be charging and near your iPhone, it also just didn't seem to reliably work even then in our tests. Coupled with it being hard to see what's saved on your watch, the whole process just lacks the polish we'd expect from Apple, so this definitely needs some work for 2020's model. While our other wishes are realistic, this one isn't. We can't see Apple ditch circular option added alongside the square screens. Well it won't happen, it would be a huge selling point for the new model if it did, especially since the Apple Watch 5's design is very similar to the Apple Watch 4's. This is all I have for you guys on Apple Watch 6 update, as soon there is a new update I will be sharing with you guys right away. Do you think there will be much difference between Apple Watch 4 and 6? Let me see you comment below. Well having be said, please subscribe, like the video, comment thanks for watching see you.